And some new video tonight as the investigation into the helicopter crash that killed Kobe Bryant continues. The NTSB releasing new video of the crash site as another video surfaces showing the chopper moments before it went down. We are also now hearing from the families of other victims on board. And ABC's Romina Puga is in L.A. with the very latest. In Calabasas, the NTSB providing video of its use of drones to document the helicopter crash that killed Kobe Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter Gianna, and seven others, the debris field stretching hundreds of feet. The helicopter took off from an airport in Orange County shortly after 9 a.m., headed to Thousand Oaks for a girls' basketball game. These videos show Kobe Bryant's helicopter circling over Glendale on Sunday morning. The fog was thick, bad enough that police departments did not fly their own helicopters. Around 944, eyewitnesses reported hearing a helicopter flying very low. Air traffic controllers informing the pilot they could not detect him on radar. Two Echo X-ray, you're uh, still too low level uh, for uh, flight following at this time. According to investigators, an iPad found in the wreckage may have been used to track weather updates and flight planning. The pilot identified as Era Zobayan, who had been flying for 20 years, according to the company that trained him. Also on board, Gianna's teammate Alyssa and her parents Carrie and John Altabelli, head coach of the Orange Coast College baseball team. He's going to leave a legend with that baseball field. Sarah Chester and her daughter Peyton also died on Sunday. And assistant basketball coach Christina Mauser, her husband Matthew saying his wife was hand-picked by Bryant to coach the girls' team. He picked my wife because she was exceptional at what she did. <laughs> i got to raise these kids on my own now. Three babies. Bryant used helicopters frequently to bypass Los Angeles traffic. In 2018, he told Barstool Sports it was his preferred method of transportation so he could still train but not compromise family time. In downtown Los Angeles, Romina Puga, ABC News. Well, in the meantime, the memorial outside of the Staples Center continues to grow tonight as more fans drop off items. There you see it. The Lakers game that was scheduled for tonight has been postponed. And here in the Valley, a new tribute to Kobe popping up in the arts districts. The lights above the street there shining bright yellow and purple.